Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are going to pair our iPad here with a PS3 controller. This is made possible via Blue Troll and it works with iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch and it's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and jump into the process here. You want to make sure that you have your iPad and obviously a PS3 controller plugged in via USB to your Mac or PC and you're only going to have to do this once here but you want to download an application called Six Pair and it's available in the Cydia description for Blue Troll and I'll also drop a link down below for it. Once you've downloaded Six Pair, go ahead and launch it and you want to make sure you have both your iOS device and the PS3 controller connected to the computer. You're going to have to copy the Bluetooth address to your iPad and so as you can see here I have uh, Dom's iPad connected and I also have the PS3 6 axis controller and we just want to go ahead and click on this pair controller to iPad button right there at the bottom as you can see it so just go ahead and click that and it will send over that information it will copy it over and this is the last time you'll have to do this. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the iPad here. Uh, on the iPad, we can go ahead and launch open Blue Troll. That's what you want to do. So we're going to swipe over here, launch Blue Troll open. And then we want to go ahead and tap on the controller tab at the bottom. So here you'll be able to select your controller. In this case, it's a PS3 controller. Go ahead and tap on the connect button. And as you can see here, it's activating the Bluetooth stack and it will connect the PS3 controller. So now we can go ahead and unplug the USB cable. As long as you see that single red light there, uh, you're good to unplug it and it's all set up and connected. So let's go ahead and get a game set up here. Now the biggest question is, will this work with first person shooters? And the answer to that is yes. So I've downloaded Modern Combat 4 and so we're gonna open this up here. Now what we need to do is we need to capture a screenshot of the controls layout. So we just want to get into the game here real quick and we want to do that screenshot like I was saying so we can assign the controls essentially to the uh, touch controls on the screen. Now once we get this game loaded up here, like I said, we just want to go ahead and take a screenshot of the controls here. So lock button and home button at the same time. There we go, we got our screenshot. We can go ahead and back out of Modern Combat 4. And we want to launch open Blue Troll again. Now, we want to go to the Games tab here and tap on the plus button there. Then we want to select a game, Modern Combat 4. And we want to choose Landscape. And then we want to go select our picture that we took of the screen back there. And then tap on the Add button. We want to select PS3 controller from the list here and then select landscape mode because that's the mode that we're playing in and here we can set up all of these controls so basically all you have to do is drag these controllers around to where you'd like it's really personal preference so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a few here for the sake of this video but you can set these up any way you'd like and kind of get it uh, working exactly how you want it as you can you know customize all of the controls on the PS3 to fit this game how you'd like so we're just gonna go ahead and drag some of these around here and kind of get things set up until I have something that is kind of playable in the game here. So now that we have the control set up, tap on the done button in the bottom corner here and then we can just back out of all this and continue back into Modern Combat 4. So let's go to the home screen here and we'll open up Modern Combat 4 again. So after we unpause this, you can see that I am moving around in Modern Combat 4 without touching the screen. And to be honest, it works exactly as you would expect. Um, all the controls I set up work very well. I'm able to move around the game. I'm able to shoot. I'm able to aim down the scope. Uh, everything works exactly how I set up. And I'm very, very impressed by this implementation here. And uh, Blue Troll, it's awesome. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of playing through the game here. But I want to point out something real quick here. One thing is with uh, this right controller stick, you can actually set the sensitivity even further by doing a couple things here. So back in Blue Troll, we have the little right joystick control here. And if you make it bigger or smaller, that will vary the sensitivity uh, for looking around in the game. So as you can see, I have it really big here. And we're going to go back into Modern Combat 4. And once we unpause it, you can see that the sensitivity is very, very high now when I'm moving this around. It's very high, almost too high. But you can play around with this 
and the uh, in-game sensitivity controls to kind of get something that works for you. So let's go to the menu here and we will go set up the options and go tap on controls here and we can adjust the sensitivity right here to make it less sensitive so that we have a bigger zone to move around the control but it's still able to look around without being super sensitive when you're playing and that worked pretty well just that little combination there but you can adjust it to work how you'd like and kind of get something that's comfortable for you because everybody's sensitivity level in games like this is going to vary so this is how you connect a ps3 controller to an ipad and it works very well you can play it with many other games aside from first person shooters and this also work with a wide variety of other bluetooth controllers like the duo or the eye control pad so I hope this was helpful everybody. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.